Hello drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again bringing some more fun drumming ideas and I thought today that I'd focus on sort of you beginners out there, people that are just getting to grips with uh, playing some basic grooves and stuff. This will challenge you a little bit but uh, we did all the hard stuff last week with the 30 second note doubles and all that so uh, if that's the sort of thing you're after go and check that video out if you want. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, this one we're going to focus on playing little groups of solid 16th notes between the kick and the snare drum uh, while the hi-hat plays uh, just sort of 8th notes. We're going to sort of use little samples of this within a sort of simple groove, just hoping to give you some more ideas, work that coordination between the kick drum and the snare drum and your right hand, uh, as well as introducing you to some sort of basic ghost note ideas as well. So sit back, relax and um, hopefully you'll learn something. Here we go. <coughs> right, okay. So like I said, we've got three grooves we're going to go through. I'll show you the first one, and then bits two, three, and four are going to remain the same for the rest of the grooves as well. So I'll show you this first one. I'll examine what we're going to do on beat one, and then beats three, two, three, and four are all the same. It goes like this. between your right, your left hand and your kick drum and um, it just gives you some nice ideas as well so let's delve in a little bit deeper and see if we can get it going. So beat one is probably the most complicated part and we've got four solid 16th notes played between the kick drum and the snare drum and the pattern they're playing is kick, snare, kick, kick and we'd count as one of course we're going to have our hi-hats going and they're going as eighth notes, they're just been counting on the one, the and, two, and the and, the three, and the and, the four, and the and. Okay, so for every two notes I play between here, there's going to be a hi-hat on the first one, so it'll be one, e, and, one. Okay, so because it's going to fall exactly in between those hi-hats, that uh, hi-hat notes, we're going to just exaggerate the uplift and then put our E's and our R's as we bring it back. So we've got one, e, and one. Simple ish. Okay, now the second part, beat two, again, this is probably the second trickiest part of it, goes two, e, and one. So we've got a lonely hi hat on the and of two, but then we're going to follow it up with a snare drum on the up of two. So we've got this two, e, and if we put those two together, we've got one e and a two e and a. Okay, we'll start speeding up. Nice. Now, we don't want to overcomplicate things, so for beats three and four, we're just going to play a nice little three and four. And if you want, you can play three and four and, and make it three. Okay, but keep those the same. This is beats three and four, just a little part just to give you a bit of breathing space before you go around and play the hard part again. So let's play the whole thing. So we've got one E and a, two E and a, three and four and one E and a, two E and a, three and four and four. Okay, now let's start speeding things up a bit. is the only one that's going to change. And this is like a little exercise, this is going to help us get going with our ghost notes. Now at first, I found this one to be a little bit tricky, just getting the left hand to sort of coordinate with the right hand. And the pattern's going to go like this. So we're going to have a bass drum on beat one again. So we've got one, B, so the same as first one. But then we're going to do another note with our left hand on the and, and then a bass drum on the up. So we've got this one, B, and one, like that. Okay, and we're going to play these as ghost notes, okay, so we're just going to 
really gently on the side of a drum so we get a nice bit of differentiation between the big loud cracks on beat two and four. So it's going to sound like this. in there, just some little ideas to help you build that technique, um, but this is a good little place to start, so remember, like I said, one, and up, etc. Right, now the next one I'm going to show you, this one's quite cool, it's a bit more aggressive, you could probably use it, it's all like punk, rocky, heavy music, and we're going to go, uh, what was it, one, and up, okay, so we've got one, and Okay, so if you think about it, we've actually got bass drums on the one and the R uh, one every single time. Yes, we have. Okay, so that makes things simple. So what we're doing really is just changing the notes that are on the E and the R, uh, uh, the E and the N of the one. I think. <laughs> okay, so let's let's break this one down. So we've got one E and R, two E and R, three and four and. Okay, so we're going to get this sort of like from the and of one to B two, so you've got one E, two E, and that sounds quite cool. It sort of pushes the groove forward a little bit. Let's play it with the rest of the B. three times, do the fill, and then play the next one three times, do the fill, and then pat yourself on the back, and uh, happy days. So I'll tell you what, here's a nice little fill just to get you going, I'm just going to go right, left,
you enjoyed that lesson. Um, like I said, it's primarily focused towards those of you just getting to grips with some drumming grooves. Um, but yeah, just use those little ideas and experiment with them. Put them maybe on beats three and four as well. Um, start off slow, don't get your knickers in a twist to start playing it too fast straight away because there'll be a few mistakes. You just want to iron out all those creases, make sure your, your soul is a rock before you start speeding things up. Okay, so if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the like button, that's always wicked. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to set up some playlists, you know, focused at either like drum fills, some more advanced ones. I'll stick this one in the sort of beginner to intermediate ideas. But um, any suggestions, any songs you want to hear or learn how to play, just give us a shout and I'll see if I can sort you out. That rhymed. I'll leave it with that. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.